Man, look at these things. What are you doing, buddy? Dude, this thing. I need to get this done. <laughs> what do you got to do? Clear the whole thing up? Yeah, so we cleared all this off, that whole hillside still that brushed in there. Yeah. We cleaned all that up. That's that's great right there. That Digging in that hole right there. Yeah. So I got to cut it out all the way from there, all the way back to the tree line. Like where that berm is right there? Yeah. Well, this thing makes quick work when it ain't muddy. Yeah, but see, it's, it's, if it wouldn't rain in Tennessee every other day. This is got nothing but rain. We Literally every single day it has rained here. I hadn't started this thing in months. I don't know if it even started, honestly. <laughs> I know exactly when you started it last. Yeah, yeah. I think October, November. I think it's November. It's a beast, though. Look at this thing. Good machine, though. This is Timmy. He gets straight back from working up in Kentucky. Saturday, we're working again, but this is a different kind of work. Yeah, we gotta get this done. Never stops. Teach me how to drive this thing. I'll do it. This will be fun. It is actually. It's just a giant toy. This one's a little bit aggravating. It's better to learn on this machine. If you're going to run this machine, it's better to learn on this machine because it's got uh, foot control. Foot and hand control. I think I should have wore boots today. Yeah. Come out here in Crocs. Please, baby, start. It started right up last time. Yeah, but it's been... It has been months in the cold. <laughs> Braxton's little toys he's got. He built that himself. Oh, nice. <laughs> this thing starts up, I'm going to be really surprised. <laughs> it is chilly out here, too, so that's another addition to the. Cold start. Oh, we got power. Come on, baby. Fire Come on. Dang. That's better than I thought. Doesn't sound like it. Woo! A lot of dirt out here to move. This would be a pretty cool project. Just come out here and move dirt all day. I'm envious of people that do this for a living. 
This is like one of the coolest things. I guess if you do it every day, then you wouldn't be like, oh man, that's so cool. But I mean, you're dropping giant toys, driving them around. I watch, that's pretty much all I watch on YouTube is excavating and people doing cool stuff with heavy machinery. Timmy owns, owns this thing. Like, how cool is that? I would literally be tearing up the whole world.
made some pretty good progress. I think we're done for the day, huh? What time is it? Four or something. Yeah, we did make some good progress. Yeah, look at all this. This thing moves dirt pretty good. It's wet, so it's really not digging real well. See, it's yeah, it's digging in. Yeah, it had no traction. So like, I'm just I didn't think you were going to be able to move the beginning, and then it, it started picking up. Yeah. As long as I just take a little at a time. Which slow and steady wins the race when you're running one of these. If you try to push it hard, you're just going to work against yourself. So, um, and I'm no champ at running no high lifts. Uh -oh. It's pretty cool though. Yeah. It looks. I mean, it doesn't look. I'm sure there's a lot going into it, but it didn't look that difficult. Dude, you should have seen this place when we started. <laughs> like it was literally just. Uh, just a hill. Yeah. See all them trees down there. Yeah. All the way down there. Shoot. That's a lot. And there's a big old hole down there that literally eat this machine. Like somebody had took a track hole and dug a hole. Yeah. I didn't know it was down there. It was covered up with brush. I went in and went. <laughs> Dude, that was like when I come out of that thing, like I put the bucket up top and I pulled it back up out of it. And this thing was literally sitting up on its butt. Dude, that would have been terrifying. Can you imagine if it rolled? It almost did. I had to take a, if I would have just got one side in it, I would have just flipped over in it. But luckily I went in on both sides, just fell down in it. And uh, we had to take a track hoe and back out. That's crazy. That's when I think I hurt my neck. Was it uh, like impact? Yeah. Probably. Oh, it, it hurt, it's like, look, it busted the windshield, like it threw me up against the windshield. Jeez. It, it hurt bad. I think that's when, so right then's when all that crap happened, when my neck and my arm started going numb and all that. So, and that's another reason why I don't like being over here. Is that, Got a little scared in you? Yeah. A little nervousness? It scares me, yeah. A little push. Fears, a little stress. Yeah. You're going to teach me how to drive this thing and I'll just do this for you. It's be fun. It's like a big toy. couple more minutes and we're gonna get out of here i guess he's gonna see how, how rough he can get so we got a couple more minutes to go i'm kind of just here i just but he said he was gonna go do this and i told him i said i just want to go see it i watch this stuff on youtube all the time Did say he wanted this whole area.
All right, finally done. Made a huge dent. Knocked down some trees. Woo! Pretty good time. Yeah, scared me. Parker was playing right there. That's why I was like, oh no, stop, stop. But that looks loose. Next adventure. Kind of let the oil cool down and let it, you know, just keep down the turbo. That way we ain't got to deal with no. Well, I need to try, tighten that track up. Yeah, I can use it. It's the, uh, I got to do, here's a few little things that it needs, like uh, the track pads. This side, the, uh, I can tighten it and it'll last about. 10 15 hours and loosen back up a little bit, but I mean, it's got a lot of life left. In it. It's got new rollers and track pads and all that stuff on it, so it's actually a pretty good machine. These things are tough. Tanks had a tree fall on it, that was a scary situation. Well, I've seen you knock those trees down. Thought you're gonna, <laughs> I was like, here we go. No, it thing. As long as you, you're careful, you gotta really be careful with it because it could get you killed real quick. It could definitely get you killed in a hurry. As long as, uh, you know, when you first start out, because that thing will move fast. It'll go real fast. Them hydrostatics and, hyd you know, the hydraulics on it, there's no forgiveness. You oh, get it's into just a, a situation. It's a machine. Yeah. You take trees out that big around and just push them over like they're nothing. And if on, it goes buddy. the wrong way, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You ready to go, Park? You ready to go? All right, I'll clean you up. We'll get out of here. All right, what's up, guys? So, I know probably a bunch of you hate me right now because how I did the uh, to be continued. And I did have a really good set plan. I thought that I was like, oh, man, this is what I want to do with it. And I was going to be like... Aha, here you go. But after reading a lot of y'all's comments, um, in 10 miles, turn right onto SR95 South. I guess I'm turning right. Um, I really, really liked a lot of your guys' ideas, and I think I want to run it by um, my buddy that's going to help me paint it and see how hard it would be to do some of the things you guys said. Like, a couple of things that really stuck out to me were, you know, Marine Corps blues with the blood stripe going all the way around it and then American flag on the back like that sounds actually really freaking sweet um, another thing Big Al he's always commenting on my videos um, so Big Al I really like your idea about um, having some some of you guys come out and sign the back of it I think that'd be really cool. If you're a veteran or if you're just a big fan or anything, honestly, you know, like you can come out and maybe sign the back of the truck after it's painted with a Sharpie or, you know, like maybe I'll get some stickers and we could put some people's names on the stickers and then sticker them on there. That way they wouldn't be permanent or, you know, figure out something for, so you guys can actually sign it, get your names on there. Cause it is a, it is a YouTube build and it's, because of you guys that I'm even doing it. So, um, definitely think that's what I'm going to do. But what's really cool is today was my first day of CDL school. I think that's super cool. Um, so I'm in, I'm in class. It's actually a lot of information that I, I'm actually having a lot of fun. It's pretty cool. Like, like pre-trip inspections, you know, stuff like that. I'm at the Tennessee truck driving school up in Knoxville and it wasn't super expensive you know it was affordable and they weren't going to take four months of my gi bill which 
whatever if you want to do that i'm not knocking you but what i want to do with my gi bill is as soon as i get out i plan on joining the national guard and then um just serving enough time in the national guard to transfer my benefits over to my three kids even even maybe nicole like nicole said she would like to go back to school once the kids are old enough so maybe that's something i'll do as well is like that's just another option i don't have to do it i can use it for something else i can go to welding school i can do whatever i want but what i would really like to do is depending on you know how everything shakes out is just join the national guard and transfer my benefits over um yeah i mean that's that's a plan but who knows if it's gonna work out but yeah so i apologize but this video is not going to be the second half of that other video because the plan that I was like talking about on that video was something completely different than what I think I'm gonna go with because I was like, in that video, I was like, oh, I'm gonna paint it black. Black with a white stripe and black the whole thing out. But I feel like now that I'm thinking about it and like, like I agree with you guys, that it should be something pretty cool. So what I could do is maybe Marine Corps blue, like Marine Corps blue is blue with red blood stripe and then it, with white stickers and paint, you know, like stencils and all that. Um, underneath the blue would be white and then like you wouldn't see the white obviously. Once I pulled the stencils off, it would be white um, of, the, of all of the military like inside you know what i mean so that'd be cool i think that'd be really cool like either on the back of the truck or on the sides and then on the back we call it um like whatever the, whatever we decide to name it I'm trying to think of that like someone also commented on there that said maybe it should be called family tradition which that was like that's pretty cool because if you think about it my whole family is trucks like that's all they do is trucks but also the older generation of my family like i'm the only one of the my dad and on that joined the military but my cousin joined the army um my papa was in the army back in vietnam and then uncle ronnie was in the marine corps so a lot of it kind it's kind of both like you know you go you got marine corps you got army I don't have any Air Force cats in my family, but you know, I still appreciate the Air Force. But also they're truck drivers. So I got the, the semi, I got the, the cab over, you know, and then I got all the, the military members. So, um, yeah, I think that might be, tell me what you guys think. You know, like, do you think family tradition is a pretty good name for that thing? I think it's pretty catchy family tradition there it is you know like see that thing driving by and it looks sick beautiful and attractive and looks good yeah maybe that'll be what it is i kind of like family tradition but i have three weeks left of cdl school i'm gonna try to document some of it i'll get this video out probably today or tomorrow and i'm gonna try to get some uh video of me learning how to drive a truck i think it's gonna be pretty uh brutal at first because i they were like, do you want to drive an automatic or do you want to drive a stick? And I'm like, that's a stupid question because, I mean, no offense to anyone that drives an automatic, but I don't want to drive an automatic. All the trucks we have are stick anyway, so. Um, I was talking to Timmy, and what I think we might do is um, he has a truck that it's, I think Devin called it the Kenny truck. I don't know why, I guess the guy named Kenny drove it, but there's a truck called the Kenny truck, it's the Eagle. It has a 12.7 Detroit in it. it um, it's got a 10 speed. Uh, the Detroit has been, like they just did, um, all the bearings in it are new. They just pulled the head off, the head's brand new. It had oil pressure issues for some reason, but they figured out what was wrong with that. And then, so they fixed all that. So everything on it's new, because they thought it was, it was something was wrong with it. And it ended up being something stupid. I think it was like, um, I don't know. I remember what dad said it was wrong with it. Caps, maybe. I can't remember. But something stupid was wrong with it. And then it, so now it runs 
super healthy. They just did. We just did dog bones on it. We got alignment on it. It's got new tires. Um, might need airbags, which that's not bad. It's like a hundred bucks a piece. So if the airbags are bad, I'll just replace those. Um, but and it needs some flooring put in it. So I didn't want to. He's like, I'm not gonna charge you out the butt for it. So it's, you know, it'll be a cheap starter truck that I could use to pay for the build on the uh, cab over. And then once the cab over is done, then I'll have two trucks so I can put one on the road and then one, drive one for myself. So that's the ultimate goal. Timmy wants 100 trucks, right? So this is a way of, you know, helping get him get 100 trucks. So I think it's a good idea, you know, get something for now because that cab over is going to take, I was figuring it out if I really want to do it right, it's gonna probably going to be around 25 grand, which it's a ton of money. Like you got to get 15 for an engine. Either way, it's going to cost me 10 minimum for an engine. Then if I want to paint it the way I want to paint it, that's going to be another at least eight grand probably. So eight grand in paint and then, um, you know, everything else that goes into it, like, you know, suspension parts, um, wheels and tires, like the steers didn't look bad, but I probably would replace them. The drives, definitely, they're, they're destroyed. So the drives are bad. I really want to put some, um, maybe some Alcoas on it. Like, I want to make it look really good. And I think if I'm driving it, I'm not going to want to take it off the road to fix it and do anything to it. So if I can get a truck on the road right now and like within the next month, then boom, there's my income to put into that truck. Because right now, April's going to roll around and I'm going to have to buy a house soon because I don't want to rent. There's just a bunch of money that's going to have to come out soon. And I know where I, I'm making money with that pickup, but realistically, it's not making enough to like live off of, plus dump a ton of money into a truck that is not going to run for a little bit. You know, like, It's going to be tough if I can get a truck now, get it on the road, get some get some miles under my belt make some make some money and that truck will be on the road really fast so stay tuned you know like i'm gonna start we hopefully post some videos this week of this week so it's the first week is only um knowledge you know i gotta take my permit test on thursday so this week will be knowledge tests and then um so i won't do any driving this week at all but next week is all driving so maybe i can swindle them into let me record like someone recording me my first time shifting like my first time doing everything so maybe i can get swindle them into let me do that and um that'd be really cool so stay tuned hopefully you guys still like this video it's kind of cool like me and timmy got to take my little my little boy out parker and we got to uh he got to ride in the dozer. That was pretty cool. It's actually called a high lift, but he got to ride in the high lift and it was really cool. Like Timmy is, it's like a different side of Timmy sometimes. Like he's really busy, but sometimes he's like, yo, let's take Parker out and ride him in the dozer. So, you know, it's just, it's a different side of him that you don't know, usually see. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for this weekend. I promise you I will, I'm going to go work on the, the freaking on the cab over. So, Gonna get some work done, maybe sand, do some sanding, take off some stuff, like start stripping it, and I'll see if I can't get dad to help me with uh, getting that cab raised I can, so I can re replace all the mechanisms that are broken so I can actually get it up and down and then we can probably get it moved. But yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, hopefully, get some cool stuff out this week. Thanks.